Sony's naming scheme has never been particularly good or smart. And uh, it's never been fluid. It's yeah. Well, fluids. Is, speaking of fluids, <laughs> um, so why did they decide on such a terrible name first and foremost? Um, I don't know. It was better. Like, I I I don't know how they managed to get it worse than what it was before. Like yeah, the well, sump. Well, like, what was it before? Like Sony's Marvel universe it was of literally characters? Sony's universe of Marvel characters. <sighs> That's and terrible. now they had to put in the P for pictures. Yeah. Make it spunk. Which I just, I don't. I, I don't if I don't YouTube goes... demonetizes this video, <laughs> I'm going to get mad. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what goes on in these meetings. They're like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's make it, let's name it that. And someone go, like, guys, maybe in a second that we may not want to. I got an that. idea. They got the Xbox marketing team to come up with names to came up with yeah. this one because none of it makes sense. It's like, so we had the Xbox One X, yes. The next one is the Xbox Series X. What? Why? Like, it, <laughs> it's like, like the, the only thing I can think of is because the computers. Right. The, the, the naming scheme is so bad, and like, I get what, I get what Sony's doing. Like, it's easier. Oh, Spider-Man's universe, and obviously they're they want that slapped over everything now coming out because. Spider-Man's finally a relevant billion. I mean, dollar only franchise. Sony would want their spunk. Of course, and everything coming out. Uh, of course, you know it's. But look, it's it's a it's a tactical naming scheme, and yeah, I get not, it. But it's, it's not really a good weird. one. It's not a good yeah, one at all. It's basically it's like um, here's the Marvel characters, but they're in our universe. Yeah, <laughs> but you had that before with the sunk. Because the interesting bit is why put the distinction for pictures in there? Did like the head of Sony look down and go, "We don't want our name on that." And make like put pictures in there. No, like, we're two different things. Oh, maybe. Get it away. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> don't, we don't if want your spunk to the, the high end. It's, it's case if it fails, so you have to <laughs> get the blowback. It's just, I mean, they they they're trying to sell their blowback to something. But... Yeah. <laughs> um. Now. Obviously, with this uh, naming thing, they're rolling everything into it. Everything Sony does will be rolled into this type of banner. Um, and you already see this with someone of marketing that's starting. Uh, and we saw this. Um, it was back. I want to say last December. I could be a little off. Maybe it was a little earlier than that because time it doesn't matter anymore. But they packaged far from home. I want to say. Venom and Spider Verse into one steelbook, and I think it was like Best Buy exclusive. You could also get the non steelbook version elsewhere, but it was distinctly like Sony's Spider Man. Like they're trying to go after that market because people are starting to wake up a little bit more to oh shared universe and stuff because it's such just so commonplace now. So Sony's coming in there going well. Can we pull one over on them quickly now? Because obviously we're going to have this Spider-Man and other Spider-Men from live action, you know, down the road. And it's smart on their part, but I just don't know why you can name it something. Sim like, why couldn't you just call it Spider-Verse? You own that name. Like, mm. I, it, it, Maybe because Marvel have the event Spider-Verse, so there'd be a trademark thing there. Maybe. I just... Because that came out before the movie. Yeah, that's true. But then again, anything they invent that's like Spider-Man based, they automatically can use it. That's why there's no new Spider-Man characters being developed because it's like Sony's allowed to use them then. So it's like, eh, it's such Is a weird one. Is there no one. new Spider-Man characters being developed? The core. They seem to have made a hundred. No. Well, I mean, they have like the core Spider people, and like they keep coming back. It's like, oh, like what was it? Mid last decade, there was like. We brought back Ben and Kane and all that, but like uh, they, they kind of stopped. Remember, I mean, like I... the whole X Men thing, where they were like, "We're not gonna make any new mm. humans because X Fox can use them." It's like, oh, power plays. So I, I suppose, in, really, it's only been Miles and Gwen mm -hmm. that have made it right. So, what do you think uh, their ultimate goal to achieve with this? other than obviously getting everything live action that Spider-Man ever into one film, which is their goal. Like, that's clearly what they're going to do. I mean, they were willing to spend, what was it, 
25 million on Robert Downey Jr. for 11 minutes in Homecoming. Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, you'll spend another 5 million on Maguire and Garfield and get them back for live action. God, please don't. You please. know it's coming. That's their ultimate oh, goal. Like, that is. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want it. I mean, but... if they want to get Maguire and um, Garfield covered in their spunk, got it, and then fair, fair play to him, I suppose. But... Well, has Maguire done anything since Spider Man 3, really? I can't recall, um, honestly. He did that one movie. Oh, is it called? Great I Gatsby. I've. It just didn't go down well. I know Garfield's done a few things, and in, like, including Hacksaw in Ridge. Yeah, and that movie where he's like walking through New York naked. Uh, that's a thing. I can't remember what that one was though. What that was for? Never, never heard of that one. Yeah, there's literally like set videos of him. He's wearing just a prosthetic uh, dong, just walking through yeah. New York naked. That's. Uh... I mean, he's re- he's ready for the spunk, isn't he? Oh, he's they're all firing <laughs> up for it. All cylinders are ready for Sony, huh? I'm just, I'm just trying to get it all out now to <laughs> save myself in the future. So then, um, okay, the last thing Tobey Maguire did was voice a role in The Boss Baby. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a career! <laughs> so yeah. see, he'll be back guaranteed, and they will make an apology to Andrew Garfield and wrap up that story in some sort of fashion. Just watch. Like, and honestly, I, I understand what they're going for. I understand why they want it. I get what they're trying to do with it. And remember, they're still developing TV shows set in this like universe. So, <sighs> I mean, that's, you know, silver lining to every situation the, the current situation kind you know how much money does sony have to still develop those shows oh yeah that's true i mean if disney's losing money sony's gotta be mm-hmm. hemorrhaging on yeah. every single orifice they have yeah like they're... apart from the game stuff because i imagine the playstation side's quite high up right they're the lucky ones the film division's <laughs> never been the lucky ones <laughs> Yeah, because I think um, I, from like last thing for April and March, a lot of the gaming business has shot to the roof because of mm-hmm. what's going on. Mm-hmm. And the, the last thing we heard about Bloodshot was that it beat Birds of Prey, but it never actually released a number like Universal did. The thing is, we're so. going to have to wait till the fiscal reports come in, like at the end of next fiscal year, where they publicly have to release some of that. And it's like, Oh, that's how Bloodshot did, but we're not going to know that unless they publicly announce it till like, what, 11 months from now? Ooh. Something about that, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a rough one. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I don't know, like, because they obviously delayed all those films, too. Do, mm-hmm. do you think now there is precedent, like, much speculation is pointing towards that they will get tom holland into venom 2 now because they have way more time it wouldn't to figure surprise it out. me wouldn't yeah. surprise me i mean i was expecting it anyway to be perfectly honest um morbius is always going to be a stretch i could quite easily morbius now but yeah no nah, i think it's pretty much guaranteed hmm. unless disney's like yeah no we own a quarter of this child uh, yeah <laughs> This, this 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 quarter this quarter is spunk free. I mean, the rest of it, you, know. you ain't touching Call that. Call the FBI. Call the FBI. Because uh, so, uh, any closing thoughts on this? On Sony? On what they're doing? What they're um, trying to do? And just just as you thought, Sony couldn't get uh, Sony Pictures couldn't get more dumb. Here they go. Yeah. Is it too late to change the name? Yeah. Uh, uh well. I mean, they'll probably change it themselves again. Let's be real. I hope so. Let's hope so. be real. Like, Unless they're doing that thing, it's like, let's make a really dumb name and rely on the meme, because then people remember it. Because that's what it feels like. But there's no way they put the P in there and went, huh, it's, it, it doesn't look like spunk at all. I'm, no one's going to confuse this or make that joke. But I'm getting some terrible flashbacks to mm. just like terrible naming schemes and oh boy. So can you imagine if the MCU rearranged their letters? <laughs> imagine, imagine that. <laughs> Where we are right now. <laughs> yup. Uh, well, that's for the uh, that's for the browser version. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We've got 23 comes up in this place. Oh, Jesus. 
Uh, Biggest come of all time. There you go. Uh, that's uh, that's what's happening there. So um, when Sony reveals more future plans, we'll be sure to report on them and laugh in their face because they're Sony, and that's that's what happens with um their ideas. So thank you for taking the time to watch that video. If you guys would like more content that we offer here for channel members, which you guys can check out on the little joint button down below, we do offer additional content, such as exclusive podcasts and topic discussions, our gaming podcast, Star Wars TV series reviews, Marvel show reviews, DC Universe, and CW reviews. We offer personal vlogs, backlog reviews of TV shows and movies, video game topics, and Q&As, and of course, in one of our best tiers, we offer audio commentaries on TV shows and movies, along with a bunch of other stuff you guys can check out just by clicking that join button and seeing what is on offer.